Good morning, and welcome to Revolution Workshop in the heart of the Garfield Park community on the west side of Chicago. Uh, we wanted to welcome each and every one of you here to show you the magic uh, that Manny and his team have been doing working with young people throughout our community. The work that Revolution uh, has done to help turn the lives around of people here on the west side is to be commended and we're glad that the governor and his team chose this location to come to to introduce their new program uh, for our community. So again, without further ado, I want to introduce uh, Manny, who is the magic maker here at Revolution Workshop. I think that's the first time I've been called a magic maker, but I'll go with it, Alderman. Thank you. I want to welcome everyone here today to Revolution Workshop. I want to personally thank Governor uh, Pritzker and his staff, Leader Lightford, Alderman Irvin, Director Garcia, and the newly appointed commissioners that are here in attendance for allowing us to host this very special announcement. As they said, I'm Manny Rodriguez. I'm the founding executive director for Revolution Workshop. We're a pre-apprenticeship construction training program here in Garfield Park. We run a 12-week program uh, aimed at serving underserved residents, particularly black and brown residents, and we try to get them into family-sustaining construction careers. Um, I just, we at Revolution Workshop, we're beyond grateful that our governor and the state legislature have made critical investments into our workforce systems. These investments our communities desperately need. Because of these investments, Organizations like mine and our partner Build Chicago and others will be able to provide real economic mobility that can truly break the cycles of poverty that have inflicted so many people across our city and state. With that, it is my honor to introduce the person that will map out these in investments, the governor of our state, J.B. Pritzker. Well, thank you very much to Manny. Thank you for your very kind introduction for hosting us here uh, at Revolution Workshop and, uh, and also for your longstanding commitment to creating opportunities in and for our communities. To uh, Andres Alvier and uh, Kristen Malik, uh, thank you for your work at Build Chicago. Uh, it has truly inspired thousands of young people to transform their lives. It's such a pleasure to stand with you today and with uh, the DCEO Acting Director, Sylvia Garcia, with our uh, Majority Leader, Kimberly Lightford, and Alderman Jason Irvin, to discuss what we are doing to build back our workforce in Illinois. Since 2017, Revolution Workshop has reached over 180 adults and youth, providing the skills and training and resources for people to take on a new career and in turn to provide new opportunities for their families. It's the kind of work that changes lives and it's the kind of work that we're going to amplify all across the state of Illinois. I'm proud to announce a new $40 million workforce recovery grant program aimed at getting more job seekers back to work and helping small businesses who are hit hardest by the pandemic. Applications for these grants open today. We're encouraging qualified organizations across the state to apply for funding, especially in industries experiencing shortages like the hospitality industry, like manufacturing, or other high growth industries like tech and transportation or the construction trades. We're focusing these new investments in communities where they're needed most, on adults looking to enter or re-enter the workforce. Because in order to create an Illinois where economic opportunity abounds for all residents, we have to address what's holding them back. We're also expanding on the success of our first ever Youth Career Pathways program aimed at helping get more at-risk youth into rewarding careers. 
An additional $4.4 million will be invested in 20 organizations around the state serving young people who might be at risk of dropping out or are at risk of experiencing violence or who otherwise would meaningfully benefit from training programs that open new doors. That includes our host, Revolution Workshop, which is teaming up with well-known community service provider and grant winner, BUILD, to bring more teens and youth from our city's west, west side into accredited pre-apprenticeship construction training. Their work will provide skills training that leads to opportunities for full-time employment. These programs are truly impactful because organizations like BUILD and like Revolution have already established reliable partnerships with area employers like Power, like Passion, like, uh, like Habitat for Humanity, and like, well, more. You all know which the organizations. And I must say that as we're expanding opportunities for people to work on the infrastructure of the state, and you know that we passed a $45 billion infrastructure package in the state of Illinois, the largest in the history of the state and the nation, that those opportunities are increasing. Our union uh, representatives that are here know that. Uh, they need more members. And so the, the programs that are going to put people into pre-apprenticeships and then into apprenticeships and then into becoming journeymen, uh, these are programs that will allow people to earn head of household wages and be able to have a great um, middle class and beyond uh, success in their lives. This is yet another step in our efforts to deliver high quality opportunities that put all of our young people on a path to a career with a heightened focus on those that have been historically left behind. To that end, with support from the Chicagoland Workforce Funders Alliance, I'm also proud to announce today the Illinois Workforce Equity and Access Commission a product of the Illinois Legislative Black Caucus education reforms. I'd be remiss if I didn't point out that one of the leaders of this effort who has been talking to me about this from day one, pushing, pushing, pushing to make sure that we got this done, is of course Leader Lightford, who you're going to hear from momentarily. But you should all just know that there's no greater advocate for this than her. Uh, the Commission is charged with creating more equitable, accessible, and effective workforce training programs for our shared future so that all Illinoisans can get the training and the support that they need to build a career. From a young person looking for more than a short-term gig to a worker who's lost their job during the pandemic to a veteran who's trying to get a job after serving our nation. In short, my announcements today are not the goals in and of themselves, but they are the key components of our recovery from the pandemic and our commitment to build a better Illinois for everyone. So thank you. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to a real champion in the General Assembly, a partner uh, in our workforce development and education arena um, whose leadership has made much of this possible and that's my friend and Majority Leader, Kimberly Lightford. I was going to try without these, but I thought I'm perhaps not. <laughs> to God be the glory for the things he has done in my life. I bring greetings to all of you on behalf of the 4th Senate District. You know, Manny, it was about three years ago we started having this conversation, and the only thing at that time that I can ensure you was that we had a dynamic governor and that something would happen. Had not known that it would be a pandemic that was going to push this, but I was sure that Governor Pritzker would be the leader on this issue, and I'm so appreciative of you and your administration, Governor. So it is a pleasure to be standing here today to see the realization of the Illinois Legislative Black Caucus efforts to build a more inclusive and equitable workforce economy for our youth, our young adults, and our grown adults. Um, the ILBC work to break down barriers for people of color, but also for all the working families in Illinois who are suffering from an inequitable workforce system. 
This pandemic has brought unprecedented hardship to our state, increasing unemployment and exasperating existing inequalities and access to economic opportunity. It's time to take a step toward rebalancing our communities. During the pandemic, over 400,000 workers lost employment in Illinois alone, many of whom are still out of work. They need our help more than ever. I cannot think of a better way to help residents than to provide essential training to help them regain access to employment and final lasting careers. All Illinois residents need access to equitable jobs and reliable job training. This is why the Workforce Equity and Access Commission that was created in Pillar 2 of the Education and Workforce Development of the Black Caucus Agenda to Rid Illinois of Systemic Racism. And this uh, commission will be charged with conducting a workforce consolidation feasibility study to understand how our workforce development programs can better serve work workers across the state. And we've already begun that work and being led by uh, Deputy Governor Menard and Christy, and I'm so looking forward to partnering with them and getting this amazing work done. The commission was also created to help level the playing field in our workforce development system and to ensure everyone has equal access to a quality career. Most importantly, it was created to evaluate the impact of systemic racism on the experience of participants in the workforce system. Understanding the problem is the first step towards solving it. $20 million in workforce recovery initiative funds through ARP job training and economic development program is also vital to growing our career training programs and resources. WIA is a critical resource for adults looking to enter or re-enter the workforce, as well as for our youth, who have also experienced an economic downturn and ensuring unemployment that was also caused by the pandemic. But prior to that, if you all just take a look at the Illinois WorkNet numbers, they will tell you that among the 19.3 million workers ages 16 to 24, 9.2 million or nearly half are employed in service sector establishments. So youth workers make up 24% of employment in higher risk industries. And many establishments in this sector have significantly reduced staff and services or even closed their doors permanently. In Illinois, youth unemployment rates rose from 4.3% in March of 2020 to 12.8% in May of 2020, which remained consistent through August of 2020 data. And of course, that's during the pandemic. But our youth is our future. And this 4.4 million investment in the Youth Careers Pathway Program from WIA would create a path toward success and allow the next generation <laughs> All right, Manny. <laughs> we'll allow the next generation to develop new skill sets and prepare themselves for the future of the career world, especially after such a tough year. Fighting for our workforce is the right thing to do. And I'm humbled to have led the effort with the Illinois Legislative Black Caucus. I am more than honored for all the help the Legislative Black Caucus received from the governor and his administration to make these changes in Illinois possible. And we are truly thankful for the time and dedication of every single person who contributed to these efforts. So thank you very much. And I'm honored to introduce the director, the acting director of the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, Director Garcia. Thank you, Leader Lightford, and thank you so much for your continued leadership on work, workforce development and bringing access to opportunity to the communities that need it most. We really need it. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. As was mentioned, my name is Sylvia Garcia, and I'm the Acting Director of the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, or DCO. I'm so happy to be here today with Governor Pritzker's Governor Pritzker, leadership from the General Assembly, workforce partners from around the state, and community leaders, all of whom are very critical to our mission of bringing strong career opportunities to all of our communities across Illinois. 
I'd also like to acknowledge my colleagues and friends, Secretary Ho from the Illinois Department of Human Services and the Illinois Community College Board's Executive Director, Brian Dunham, who are both here with us today. Together with their agencies and the Illinois Department of Employment Security, we make up our state network of federal and state workforce training programs that work every day to provide access to economic opportunity for thousands of Illinois residents each year. We know there's a lot of need out there and there's still a lot of work to be done, but I really commend you as partners and, and look forward to working together as we look at, at the future of workforce in Illinois. I also want to especially thank Manny and the Revolution Workshop team that's hosting us today. They've been a very strong partner with, for D, with DCO and BUILD, and we're really excited about this new innovative training program that they're going to be leading as part of the $4.4 million announced today. They really bring youth who are at risk of violence uh, into good careers in the construction chain in the construction trades. As the governor mentioned, uh, that we're going to be able to fund 20 similar programs across the state that will introduce more and more of our young people into viable career opportunities. For me, this work is really personal. As a former youth outreach worker, I know how important that first job, especially a job with a career path, can be to an individual, how life-changing it can be. In fact, one of my favorite parts of my time working at the Chicago Transit Authority, which is pr providing the additional acoustics around here every so often, uh, was seeing firsthand how an entry-level job can really make a difference for someone when there's training and development opportunities and can really turn into a lifelong career. We need more of that here in the state of Illinois because unfortunately too many communities around our state don't have access to those career opportunities and workforce training. This work has never been more important than it is right now as we emerge from a pandemic that has exacerbated inequities that have been longstanding. Which is why we're so excited to be mobilizing this $40 million today from Governor Pritzker's Comprehensive Economic Recovery Plan. We're focusing on getting people back to work in ways that build careers that are meaningful and bring home good paying jobs for their families. We are also prioritizing equity in, the, in this work and making sure everyone has access to opportunity. We're also helping to provide support for our employer partners to make sure we're filling the jobs that they need and thinking about what those jobs of the future are. We look forward to working and collaborating with the Workforce Equity and Access Commission as we work to expand this workforce infrastructure and serve all of our Illinois communities. We're also calling on social service organizations, colleges, educational institutions, community partners, and so many other of those qualified training partners to apply for this first phase of funds that are available on our website today. So $20 million is being advertised through a notice of funding opportunity on our website, dceo.illinois.gov, and click on grant opportunities. You can get all of the information there. Uh, in addition to the, the NOFO that's up there, that we'll be doing technical assistance seminars and other things, we really want to make sure traditional workforce providers are at, are at the table, but also small community groups that have a real interest in this space. So we want to make sure we're building capacity for our individuals, but also, also our community institutions. So please uh, reach out, let us know what you need, but we're, it's all there on our website. So with that, it's now my privilege to introduce two folks who can really speak to the true benefits of workforce training and how they've impacted their lives. Uh, Chase Irvin and his mentor from Build Inc., Deanna Hart. Thank you so much. Good morning. My name is Chase Deanna Irvin. I am 18, preparing to go to college and has been a Build participant since the elementary school. BIO has provided me with so many wonderful and amazing opportunities. The BIO program helped me build the confidence to perform and speak in front of hundreds of people, taught me how to be an active leader in my community and my peers, and also helped me form short and long-term goals for my future. It's exciting to know that BIO can also help me and others get new jobs with this new workforce. Thank you. My apologies, sir. My accessories, you know, want to get in the picture. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Deanna Hart, and I am the manager of learning and leadership at Build Inc. Um, since, sorry, since 1969, Build has been investing in Chicago's black and brown youth, engaging them in and out of community, inspiring hope and helping them to overcome the many systemic obstacles they face as they work to achieve positive futures. We know that the potential does not discriminate, only opportunity. Right now, our programs provide a wide variety of wraparound services, 
that are all about potential, preparing youth to succeed in many different kinds of jobs by helping them to discover their strengths, develop discipline, organizational skills, resilience, and creativity. This new Youth Career Pathway Grant will allow us to also bring youth even more opportunities by helping them to create, uh, by helping to create strong workforce development and job training programs for our youth. This pilot with Revolution Workshop um, and in other fields that we hope to launch soon, such as creative arts, culinary arts, and technology. We are really grateful for the opportunity to expand our work in the workforce field. Now, I would like to invite to the podium, Reverend Rachel um, Berkman Roth. Can I go finger? Thank you for that introduction, Deanna. And I'd like to start by thanking Governor Pritzker and Leader Lightford and Acting Director Garcia for your visionary leadership in building an equitable workforce system for the state of Illinois. The initiatives introduced today will build a more strategic and better resourced workforce ecosystem that will put workers, job seekers, and, equi and equitable economic growth at the center. Few programs in the country encourage job training programs, employers, and community leaders to partner to envision economic development for their neighborhoods. Revitalizing JTED, the Job Training and Economic Development Fund, renews our state's investment in a proven job-driven training program centered on disadvantaged workers. The results of the model speak for themselves. By involving employers and businesses at the inception of job training programs, trainees have job opportunities waiting for them upon program completion. Previous models of JTED are remembered for centering clear, clear pipelines, focusing on high demand sectors, and most importantly, delivering increased wages and high job retention for participants. An important new innovation is the addition of a barrier reduction fund, which will offer fast, flexible funding for su wraparound supportive services. This can include childcare or transportation or housing costs, mental health costs or union dues, all which will enable job training programs to better support their participants who face systemic barriers to good jobs. These additional supports are most needed at this time as our state seeks to recover from both a pandemic and a recession that has hit people of color and women the hardest. Illinois' Commission on Workforce Equity and Access will further support job seekers and workers. This commission will create a space to bring those dedicated to an equitable recovery and to workforce development to a common table to take a human-centered approach towards a shared vision for job training in Illinois. Pulling together our system leaders, our agency officials, our practitioners, and frontline professionals to craft a strategic vision forward. The thought leadership of this commission, combined with these investments, is an important step to increasing equity and opportunity for Illinois residents across the state and to help them enter into good paying career pathways. And we hope that there will be many more investments and much more support for an equitable workforce system that grow out of the commitments that were announced today. At this time, I'd like to hand it back over to Governor Pritzker to take questions and answers. Thank you. Happy to take any questions from members of the media. Uh, so, number one, as you know, the American Rescue Plan has been uh, just a truly uh, extraordinarily supportive of bringing workers back to work, providing supports for people who lost their jobs during the pandemic. So. 
uh, that's a, a source of these dollars. I think the, the shape of the program, however, is really something that is Illinois-centric and was created with the leadership of Leader Lightford, uh, as well as the partnership of the administration and so many members of the General Assembly that have engaged. So um, I would say the dollars, the source of them is an important point to make, but, but also the kind of the shaping it to fit the organizations and the way that Illinois and Chicago operate. Thank you. Okay, thanks everybody.